just the main bit that comes from it. This is the main bit that comes from it. So that's the main bit that comes from it. So many different ways. It all really needs stance. Stance includes the torso, how it's, everything is. Guard. And drop down, go up. And a punch. And you can do it short or big. Really put everything behind it. Wing Chun is a strike for you. There's another one. Wing Chun can punch like this. It's the one everyone knows, but they don't use it up here. It has to be here on the out. This is a punch that was trained a lot by many. See Bruce Lee on the heavy bag in one of his videos doing it. And this one. Wing Chun uppercut. Most people are only training this one. No quick little jabs. Everyone knows this one. Not to be used much. But the people train the Wing Chun uppercut. Get it all out there. Bang. Um, so that's in the start of all of our forms. Main strike, main strike, main strike, main strike. Uh, that's what I saw. No one taught me that. All those strikes I've used, they all work well. It was only in the 80s, it started amateur, headgear, gloves, trying to roll punch and go through people. And, but I had to change a lot of things to make it work for myself. Um, I initially learnt fighting from Maurice Llewellyn. He basically kicked the shit out of me for a year and a half kickboxing rules so it's but no gloves no protective equipment nothing several broken noses um but you learn competitions you get more confident each one you do uh, by mid 90s i was quite confident and always been mixing it up since then so yeah, just what I find more interesting. Uh, you know, forms. This is the kung fu for yourself. How you judge things, develop up things, get looser, looser, more. You know, when you do your kung fu, you're going to have more and more structure, more and more pure technique behind it. The more you practice your forms. So that's why I really concentrate on my forms now. And it's a good way, you know, Chinese calisthenics, it's very good for you. Loose, relaxed, good breathing, constantly trying to get better and better and better. It's all we basically do. So yeah, had some success, had a lot of failure, had success, failure, success, win, lose, win, lose, win, lose. It's just how it goes. There's always someone better. Doesn't mean much. You just have to try your best. No one's perfect in this world. We can only do our best. Why is this going blurry and stuff all the time? I've got to come back. So, you know, even done Wing Chun so long, I know what they're going to do. It's sort of easier for people in that situation. Um, you know, I like putting up my hands like so and sparring like this now. 
you know, it's just having a shield and a spear. It's very similar to music. It's just the same as Wing Chun, but it's a bit more open. If I train too much, just defensive all the time, then this is how you become. It's very closed off and all tight and everything. I like being open too. So I like you know, training this part of it. Um, very, very rarely when I'm sparring, I need Wing Chun. It's just kickboxing. Boom! Kick. Boom! Punch. You're not thinking anything. It's just timing, distance. And I know I'll be quicker to get in a bang. Done. And you have to be prepared to follow, pursue. Um, so yeah, it's not just bang done. Sometimes, but not always. Bang, so you've got to flow. Kung Fu is a constant. We don't go and stop. A couple of moves, stop. A couple of moves, stop. We train stillness. That's the mother of movement. Activates the breathing. We, we. You know, before anything. Do people understand what this does? What this, what we, we even means? Basically, if I translate it to English, it means not forcing anything. And it's a major principle for all Kung Fu styles. You don't fight force with force. Some do. It, it, it always contradicts itself. In general, Kung Fu, Wing Chun, you don't fight force with force. So... You have to master Wu Wei. Nothing. How do you use nothing? No, you have to think about it. Um, it helps you become very efficient. Hone in on exactly what's needed only. Um, oh, I can't think. It's just after Christmas. New Year's is coming up. Too much work lately. Oh, just got a new enduro machine, vintage, 1979. It's going. I'm going to fix it up. The old XL250. I'm going across the uh, desert on it. So, but anyway, what am I talking about? Wing Chun. <sighs> For always very defensive Wing Chun. I found after you know a long time that's really not good for you to grow that way. You have to know open as well. The bigger stances, bigger punch, you know, just learn to keep the body open. Your Wing Chun's still going to be there when you need it. But in general, you just have to put a hand up and bang if you know distance and timing. and You can judge the speed. And, you know, if someone comes in, you have to be able to intercept. From your touch, you know where they are. You know when they're going to do something and how much force it carries, where they're coming for. You really don't need to know much more than that. As soon as you touch, you can feel that and they'll try something. You can, you know what they're doing. Bang, bang, bang. You go around it, over it, under, through, cut it off. Lots of different things. You know, the opponent will tell you what to do. But yeah, you've got to train Wing Chun for three years minimum just by itself, not mixing it up with different styles to really understand Wing Chun. Otherwise, call it hybrid Wing Chun. There's lots of hybrid Wing Chun out there. You've got movie Wing Chun, you've got hybrid Wing Chun. It's, it's one of the most famous styles on the planet now. It's in all the movies. All the masters, all the sifus put it on video for everyone to see. Now beginners are putting it on video for everyone to see. Um, some I encourage, some I think... Uh, and then other people make statements. I don't know why it pisses me off, but it does. I'm still quite passionate about Wing Chun. Trained it a bit, but yeah. Can still do, still up for whatever. And yeah. For another three years. That gives everyone plenty of time. No problemo. Win or lose, doesn't matter. Learn is what matters. You know, self-development. Um, and 
have the individual take it to any degree he wants to take it to. They're each to their own. There's so much you can get from Kung Fu training. A lot of people have something wrong, and so Kung Fu will fix that. Um, a lot of people are doing it for this. No fighting at all. It's just trying to be relaxed again or something. But anyway, back to Wing Chun. So important, you know, it's 2021 now. So keep the focus back where we want it. Mind's on the center line. Using this, feeling this hand and feeling, you know, both hands simultaneously. One's not just relaxed here. And really, you know, loosening up the wrist more and more and more and more. Always practicing, you know, Pak is my favorite move in Wing Chun. Does anything, you know, someone does something, they're off balance, Chun Sao, depending on your footwork, how far you're going to go in, that can be devastating. So all you basically need for Wing Chun is like, what's going on? Yeah, so I've gone to the side, got off his line of attack. He has to turn to face where I'm coming, so he actually looks into it. Oof. Devastating, nasty, cheap shots. That's Wing Chun. We don't stand there trying to box on with people like Western boxing. Very, very sneaky, very, very nasty. Wasn't to be taught like out in public like this, ever. It's always secret, closed door. And now everyone knows it, but still, you got to train it to know it. So you know it, but you got to train it to know it. Mm. Have a really good 2021, everyone. And yeah, I'll try and get some sparring happening this year and put it on video. Um, my thing's just, I'm up for sharing and helping whoever's interested. Some people are at this level, I can't help them. They, they know what they're doing, power to them, whatever. Other people are at this level and I can help you get up a little bit. Just ask questions on my posts.